Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to uh, our uh, base video. Uh, this is part two. Um, hopefully everyone uh, had a chance to uh, look at, uh, to watch uh, the first video. And that basically shows you how to uh, cut out the, uh, use a template to cut out all the pieces you need to put the vase together, the frame. And, and now we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to uh, put the frame and together and how to skin the vase. And so, again, uh, this is the vase that we're making. So our goal is to make a vase completely out of paper. And so that way uh, you can burn it. And uh, that is our goal. And so right now what we have is our cutouts from the template uh, that we made from the first video. So we have the, again, the top of the vase, the bottom of the vase, and these are the, the ribs of the vase. And so, uh, again, I apologize for the last video. Uh, the sound was pretty bad because, again, we don't have any uh, video equipment. We don't have any uh, microphones. We're just doing this on the fly. We have, we're recording this, uh, you know, with uh, the iPhone. And so, I apologize again. We don't have all the right equipment, but uh, hopefully the sound would be a lot better this time. And I will do my best to speak up louder. Okay, so again, we have all the cutouts ready. Um, if you haven't done so, you can look at the first video, and I will show you, that video shows you how to cut everything. But now we have everything cut out already. So for our part two, our next step is to put everything together. And so you'll need a glue gun. Now Walmart sells these, and uh, they come in small sizes, large sizes. I recommend the large size. And uh, the large size comes with the larger uh, sticks of glue. And then, uh, secondly, what you'll need is uh, masking tape. And you need two rolls. And the rolls come in different sizes. Um, they have the wider ones, the skinnier ones. I recommend using the, uh, it's roughly about one inch, one inch in uh, thickness in the width of the uh, tape. It makes it easier to uh, tape it on. And secondly, you need uh, a Sharpie, so a Sharpie pen. So again, uh, we're gonna look at what we cut out. And so again, this is the, the bottom of the vase. And so what we're gonna do is, again, the idea is that we are going to connect uh, the bottom piece to the rib. We're gonna slide it into the notch, and then we're gonna go ahead and slide this to the top. So this is the vase structure itself. And so we have 30 of the ribs here. There's 30 of these, and we're gonna attach them all the way around, all the way around until we form the structure, the framing. And then once we've done that, I'll show you how to skin it with the masking tape. Okay, so now in order to make it easier, what you need to do is you need to number all the notches. If you don't, you can still do it but it's gonna be uh, harder and sometimes you might make a mistake. You might crisscross, well not crisscross, but you might misalign uh, the ribs. And so, you know, it's just gonna make it harder for you and you're gonna to have to probably uh, take it apart and redo it again until it's nice and aligned. But in order to make it easier for you, you number all the notches. And I've already done it uh, for the, the bottom part of the vase. So now for the, uh, the top, I, I do the same thing. So I already started uh, one, all the way through 26, and so I'll continue and finish it. Uh, so uh, this is 27, 28, 29, and there's 30 notches total. So there's gonna be 30, for the top it's gonna end up with 30 notches, and the bottom is gonna end up with 30 notches. So now I'm gonna put all of it together. And unfortunately, um, I'm gonna have to come out in the front because I can't see the numbers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it on the ground. So what I'm gonna do is, let me grab the rest of these. 
Okay, again, so you see all the numbers? I will attach the ribs to the top and bottom of the vase, and I'm going to line them up with the correct number. So I'm gonna look at number one. Here's number one. So that's one, one on the top. I'm gonna to slide in, and then I'm gonna find one at the bottom. So I'm gonna slide that in. So that's one. This is one. And then I'm gonna do uh, the rest here. Now if you're doing it by yourself, it's gonna be hard, but uh, you can still do it. So now I'm looking at number 21. So I'm gonna just, it's random. It doesn't have to be any number. You can just pick any number you want. Uh, but you just have to match it. So now we're looking at 21 down here as well. We're gonna line up. And if you're doing it by yourself, you can still do it. Uh, you just have to make sure you, you start off with the first three. So I'm looking at 11. So the first three is, is a critical one. So now it's 11. And you, you wanna make sure when you put in the, the ribs into the notch, you just push it all the way through and, and you wanna make it nice and flush. So now I've got the first three done. And now I wanna make sure that they are lined up correctly. One goes to one, 21 goes to 21, 11 goes to 11. So I double checked, so they're, uh, it's correct now. So now I can go ahead and uh, finish the rest and it's easy. Uh, you can just start anywhere, just make sure that you match the numbers. So 17 goes to 17. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and continue the rest. Unfortunately, uh, like I said earlier, we don't have uh, editing uh, equipment, so you're just gonna have to bear with me, and uh, you're just gonna have to uh, skip uh, this part of the video and go towards the part where I'm done um, putting all of these together. So um, I'll go ahead and do that, and then you'll just have to, uh, to watch me do that. So while you're doing that, I guess I can give you a little history on the vase. Um, you know, uh, again, you know, I make these houses. I build these houses. Um, and I guess back about, I believe it was 10 years ago, um, someone wanted me to build them a house. And uh, the funny thing is that uh, she, she says she will agree to the house only if I can make a vase. So near that, he said, who? And so at that time, uh, so, uh, and then we just thought, no, and then at that time, you know, I had no idea, so I had to figure, okay, well, I gotta figure some way of how to make uh, this vase. I gotta figure some way how to make this vase, um, and so I just spent uh, you know some time to figure out how to do it. And so I started thinking about uh, packaging. You know, when, uh, when people package things to you, whether uh, you know, they may have some you glasses or cups where they have these little dividers. And so I figured, okay, that's a good idea. You know, that, that has a structure. And so I figured, okay, I can do that. And uh, so I just came up with that idea from that. And then uh, I started to figure out, well, what, the shape of the vase, how do I want it? And so I just come, came up with rough sketches and uh, here, okay. So this is what I came up with. Now, of course, you can make different uh, shapes of vases. As long as you understand uh, this idea of the, the ribs and uh, all the different, uh, uh, the cutouts for the, the top and uh, the bottom of the vases, you can pretty much create any size or shape of vase you want. You just have to understand this concept. So anyway, uh, that was about 10 years ago, and uh, so I came up with that idea. And so right now, I have a template for it, and uh, if any one of you uh, wants a template, you can uh, contact me uh, through either, uh, we have a Facebook page, uh, Mong Funeral Decorations Facebook page. So you can contact me through that. Or uh, I believe there's a uh, uh, an email address attached to that too. I'm not sure, but uh, if you're interested, you can contact me, and uh, I can 
uh, mail you or send you somehow uh, a uh, copy of my uh, template. Or if you, uh, you want to be creative and you want to come up with your own, you can just use my idea here and uh, create your own, your own shape, your own size. So anyway, that's a little history on the, how I came about to uh, making the vase. And so uh, the vases became uh, uh, popular and uh, people pretty much uh, saw the first vase I made and uh, you know, people just through word of mouth, people decided uh, they wanted me to make more. And, uh, but I never really advertised it or put it out. Uh, it was just word of mouth, but then um, I guess I, you know, made a few. Then after a while, it's hard to uh, keep making it for people. So I think uh, I decided finally to just put it out on YouTube and teach everybody, so you can all make your own, and uh, that way I don't have to make it. So. <laughs> so anyway, I'm almost done. Uh, I'm running out of breath here. I don't know why. It must be the smoke. It's uh, uh, we have some fires going on in, in California. We have fires. We have the coronavirus, but we're gonna push through. We're gonna get this uh, this video made. And so, if you're interested, you can learn how to make the vases. All right. So now I'm, I'm almost done. Okay, just a few more uh, ribs, and then we can start with the skinny process. So when you attach these, uh, uh, sometimes you know what people do is they'll, they'll flip it around this this way and try to attach it, but you'll figure out quickly that that's wrong, and you can just flip it around the correct way. Again, we don't have any uh, editing, video editing equipment or sound equipment or mic microphones or anything like that. So just bear with us. We're doing this on the fly. Uh, so again, you could skip through all this stuff and you don't have to listen to my uh, uh, gibberish here. Okay, so that is done. So this is, maybe for a better view, this is the the structure of the vase. So that is done. We have the top of the vase, we have the bottom of the vase, and we have uh, the ribs. Now, we put all this together, now it forms this nice 3D shape. And so this is what we're gonna work off of. So now, in order to make this strong and stable, we have to somehow keep this whole frame structure together. All we did so far was just to attach uh, the bottom piece and the top piece to the ribs. So this can easily fall apart. So now we gotta make sure that it sticks together. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use the glue gun. The glue gun is what will hold this whole thing together. So again, I have the glue gun. Uh, so if you look carefully, I'm gonna glue this together. So I'm gonna start on this side of the, the rib and I'm gonna attach it to the surface, the top of the, the, top of the, uh, the vase here. Okay, now you only have to do one side here. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one side on this side, and then I'm going to flip it around, and then it's going to be uh, nicely attached on both sides. So what I'm going to do is just this side, on the top, just this side. And then on the bottom, after I flip it, I'm going to do on this side from the bottom, so that way both sides have glue. This will have glue here, this will have glue on the top. Now, some people, they want to put glue everywhere on the both sides on the top, both sides on the bottom. That's, you know, if you want to do that, that's fine too, but I don't think that's necessary. It's uh, redundant. Um, that's extra glue. Uh, you don't need to waste. So I'm gonna go all around. And again, uh, you just have to either skip this part or uh, you can just uh, watch me while I do it. So I'm gonna, again, this is 30, it's 30 ribs. So I have to go around 30 times on the top and I have to go back down three times on the, the bottom part. And 
and put the glue on. You don't have to be uh, super uh, neat or clean because uh, you're going to cover this up anyway. Uh, but if you want to be uh, have nice beads of glue on it, you can. That's fine. Uh, but you can just go ahead and uh, just do the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so that is done. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to let this dry. The glue uh, it dries pretty fast. It's going to dry fast, but you know, uh, glue gun is the glue is hot, so you don't want to touch while it's still drying. So I'm going to start this on the bottom. But that top dries. So again, I'm just going to do one side. Just spin it around. I'm, on, I'm going to do one side only. You just have to make sure that. Uh, you have to make sure that the ribs are, uh, you know, uh, pushed in firmly. So that way when you glue it, it has a good contact between the two uh, pieces, the rib and the bottom. Okay, I should be done with that soon. Uh, I'll have a few more to go. Okay, so I'm done with that already. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna flip it around. I'm gonna let this dry while I work on the top. So now I'm gonna flip it around. And I'm gonna just do the same thing. I'm gonna glue on the right side. I'm gonna stay on the right side. So now the left side underneath here is, has glue right now. I'm just gonna continue on the right side and now both sides will have glue. And this doesn't look like it's gonna hold, it's gonna be strong, but uh, it actually, uh, once everything dries, it's pretty, uh, pretty strong, uh, it's pretty sturdy. Okay, that's almost done. By the time I finish this, the top, uh, not the top, but the bottom uh, will be dry. And then I can finish up that. Okay, so that is done. So I just wanna double check. Okay, so that's all done. So now I'm gonna let this dry, but uh, the top should be done already. So now it should be dry. So now I'm gonna finish the rest. Okay. Yeah, see if you zoom into here. Um, I didn't push that in that well. So now it's, it's kinda, it should be sticking up a little bit more, but it's okay. Uh, we'll do our best. If you, if you see that, if you make a mistake, then you should just double glue it. Maybe have two beads of glue on the bottom and just make it a little bit stronger. But I think that's the only one that, you know, I didn't uh, push in correctly, but the rest should be okay. So now I'll just continue on the right side and just continue going around. Okay, let me move that over. Okay, I think maybe uh, I'll let one more spin and I should be complete. I should be done, this should be complete. It looks like I'm running out of a uh, glue stick. It's always good to have an extra one laying around. I have one around, but uh, hopefully, yeah, I don't think I would need it. Okay, so yeah, I don't need it. So I got it done just in time. 
So that's done. So now you want to unplug your glue uh, gun because uh, it's hot. And if you don't un unplug it, it's going to drip and get all over the place. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And then move the extension cord out of the way because I might trip or you know, something. Get that out of the way just to be safe. Okay, so let me touch it. Okay. So again, it dries pretty oh, quick. It dries pretty quick. Uh, well, it's still a little bit wet. But uh, yeah, so give it about, uh, about 30 more seconds and uh, it should be ready to go. So the next step is we are going to skin it and uh, we're going to put a skin on the vase. The reason you want to do that is because you need to have a surface, a surface area uh, so you can glue the joss paper on it. Otherwise, if you don't have that, then you can't glue the joss paper on it. So you need the skin. Okay, so a little bit. Uh, it's almost, uh, yeah, okay, should be good now. Okay, so now, let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna use this side to work on. Now, when you're working on this, um, you really need two people. Uh, one person to spin it, one person to tape it. But I'm gonna try by myself. If I can't, I'll find a helper to, to help me. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna start to uh, at the top, and you're gonna go all the way around. And so at the very tip here, sometimes it helps if you kind of bit, glue it down here, it's just to get it started. And then you're gonna go all the way around like this, and then you're gonna push it back. And then the reason you want two people to do this is because one person can. Uh, help you spin or turn the vase while you're putting on the tape. But I'll, I'm going to try to do this by myself, and I'm going to see if I can do it. It's, yeah, okay, so it'll, it'll take a little bit longer when you do it by yourself, but, uh, you know, it, I guess it looks like it's doable. And so you just go all the way around. And so you see how I'm getting close to where I started at the beginning? So as I get close to that, I'm going to go over it, and then as I continue down, I'm gonna just lower the tape position a little bit. You don't wanna cut it here and then start another rub because that's just gonna take more time and, uh, and forever. It's gonna take time and not only that, but it won't be as strong because now you have a tape that's been cut. So now you're gonna go around like that. See how that gets lower and lower? Like that. And the other trick is that when you spin this around, when you spin it around, see how the, the vase twists? It twists. So if you twist it and you tape it, then you're gonna tape it into that twisted shape. So after you spin it, let it go. Let it loose, let it relax, let the vase relax. And then you hold the vase in its relaxed position, and then you tape it like that. Otherwise, if you twist it and tape it, you're gonna tape it and it's twisted form or shape. Okay, so now I'm just going to do that all the way around. And so I'll try to go a little bit fast. Uh, I know that, again, you know, I apologize if you don't have the right equipment to, to do this. And so it's going to, you're going to have to bear with, with me. It's going to take a while for me to finish this. But uh, this is uh, pretty much the last part of this video. So after I tape everything, that's going to be pretty much the end of this video. And then, uh, for part three, we're going to go ahead and show you how to fold all the papers, the dust paper, uh, you know, to make the boats and, you know, to make the, the diamond triangles there so we can glue it on. And so right now we're at the neck, so it's nice, it has a nice shape, so it's easy. It's really easy to, uh, to put the tape on because it has a nice flat surface to, uh, to tape. So, so far it's pretty easy, pretty complicated, but as we get down further, we're going to have complications. You see now how, you see now how this is kind of sticking up at the top, so now you're going to have to press it down a little bit like that as you go. Again, remember to release the base and let it relax when you put the tape on. Uh, when you start doing this, sometimes you forget and then uh, at the end you find out your vase is all warped and uh, twisted. So now again, if you have two people, 
Yeah. It goes a lot faster. You can one person can spin, one person can uh, tape, and it goes by really fast. But hopefully, uh, I can. Yeah. So hopefully, this shouldn't take any take too long. Again, just uh, just skip the video for the video if you don't want to watch this. Yeah, I just heard the uh, AC uh, condenser just went on, so hopefully that doesn't affect the sound. Again, this is uh, doing a Hmong style. There's no uh, studio, no professional uh, equipment, but uh, you know, I just wanted to get this out. I know it's not professional, but I want to get it out so the people that want to make it, they can go ahead and uh, view the video and uh, get started. I know that uh, my wife, uh, she recently just sent out some templates and uh, you know, people have been asking for the videos on um, how to, to put, put it together. Because a lot of times uh, when you have just the, the base, the template, the, the base template, uh, a lot of people don't know how to actually assemble and put the whole thing together. So now as you're, so now as you're in this position, it's harder to uh, to tape it. So what you do, what I do is I, my trick is to keep this, the shape. I grab onto one of the ribs I, and I uh, hold the tape down like this. So that way I I can pull and this won't shift this whole thing over. So you hold this down, pull the tape, and then you spin it a little bit and go around. And then as you're going around, just slightly press on the tape. Right, now I'm gonna go a little bit faster so we don't have to go so so long. As you go around, your arms are gonna get uh, it's gonna start to uh, to hurt because uh, I'm out of shape. So for those of you who are in better shape, I might be okay. But this it actually is hard work. I can feel my uh, arms uh, starting to uh, the, the the pain. The lactic acid is kicking in. All right, well, I'm gonna stop talking here now and uh, focus more on uh, getting this taped down. So this, is, this is where if we have the video equipment. Uh, we would just kind of fast forward and speed through this part of it and uh, get it done. But unfortunately, that's not the case. And uh, so you're just gonna have to watch me do the whole thing. And it actually helps because as we go through this process, there's certain uh, tricks that you need, and I can show you that. So now it's getting really hard, really difficult now because uh, the surface, uh, the curve is making the tape, taping this, skinning this harder because it's not a nice flat surface. Now we have this curved, uh, convex uh, surface that, see now this is coming to, as you pull, the tape wants to just rip completely off. So you want to hold, Hold the tape down against the, uh, the rib of the vase. And then you're gonna have to press it as you go down. And at this point, you're gonna end up wasting a, little, a lot more tape than you would have versus being at the top. At the top of the, uh, where the neck of the vase is, it's easy and uh, you don't have to waste so much tape. But here, you gotta be really careful. So when you first start doing this, it's, it's, it's pretty, uh, if you're not used to doing this, it can be hard. I, you know, I do this all the time, so you know, I'm used to it. I can do it a lot quicker, quicker I mean, quickly, and uh, not make as many mistakes. But when you first do it, you end up making a lot of mistakes, and you might have to uh, undo the tape, or you might have to tape over your mistakes. But uh, you know, once you make one or two of these, then uh, you'll become much better at it, and then. Uh, Okay, so now it's getting harder and harder as I get to the wider portion or the, the wider circumference of the vase. And not only that, but my arms are getting uh, sore. And, uh, but I'm getting there, I'm almost done. So again, if you, uh, you're watching this video, uh, you don't quite understand certain uh, things or you need further instruction, 
you can always leave a comment or you can, uh, you know, uh, I guess, what's the term? Uh, private message or direct message uh, on the channel. I'm not sure if you can do that. Uh, this is our first uh, YouTube uh, video. I mean, not video, but uh, not the first video, but this is our first attempt at making uh, YouTube videos. And so, I don't know all the details on the all the functions that, and capabilities of YouTube. But anyway, feel free to ask any questions, leave comments, and uh, if you feel that this video uh, could be improved, uh, you know, maybe for the next, for the part three, when we actually put on the paper, uh, that part of it, if you feel that we can do a better job on presenting how to, uh, make the vase or how to better uh, make a better video so the instructions are a lot easier to understand you can go ahead and leave some comments and uh, we'll try to do the best we can to address those issues so now it's getting easier now because now the surface is getting to be a little bit flatter again so once you get around to pass this portion of the vase it should go by a lot quicker and so it's also yeah so now it's getting a lot easier and so now you might want to take a step back and okay, step back and kind of look at your work to see if the shape of the vase is still, still a vase, still looks nice. Otherwise, it'll be twisted and warped. So you want to make sure you double check. Okay, so now it's getting a lot easier. Yeah. And another thing too I've noticed is that uh, we have, we need two rolls. So this is an old roll of tape. So it's sticky, it doesn't peel off easily from the roll. So you're gonna have issues with that. So when you make this, you wanna buy a new roll of tape. Of course, if you don't have that, uh, this is an old roll of tape. This, this roll in my hand is still reasonably uh, good. The one uh, on the table, uh, I know that's an old one. It's a lot older and uh, it's not gonna peel off the roll as easily. So we're gonna see how that goes. But uh, you know, there's a way how to take care of that too. Uh, it'll just take a little bit longer to uh, take. It. But uh, we can work through that. Okay, so now it's getting a lot easier. Now I can go a little bit faster. You still want to make sure you press lightly go and go across the vase just so the cake will stick. So just go over lightly like that. Okay, so we're actually making pretty good progress and it's going a lot quicker now. Now if you have two people, one person can spin it, and then one person can tape it, not buy. That would save you, that would cut down the time in half, and you can do it a lot quicker. Or if your hands start to cramp up, and you can always switch off. Okay, so now it's a lot easier. So now I can go in faster. Okay, so let me realign that. Okay, so this is a lot easier now. Oops. Okay, there you go. Now, this is gonna be a lot easier, a lot faster now. So I don't know how much time has passed. Uh, I'll be trying to keep this video short. Uh, but again, we don't have the uh, video uh, editing, so we're kind of stuck in this. But again, if you have any questions, just uh, leave your comments, and uh, we'll try to answer them. And. Uh, we're going to make about probably two or uh, one more parts of this, uh, more, two more videos to probably finish up this whole thing. So, but this portion here, this is the, once you've done this, this is the major part of the work. So once you've done this, the rest, uh, it'll take time too, but this is the main portion of the project. Okay, so now I'm kind of short on tape. I was hoping we'll have more tape. This tape is actually, this roll of tape is 
not a full roll, so we're gonna run out the tape uh, shortly here. But normally it takes about one and a quarter roll of tape to make one base. And you can buy this uh, masking tape, uh, you know, at most anywhere. Uh, oops. Okay, now see, I kind of pull that. So you gotta be careful sometimes. Okay, maybe let's see if I can. So again, you can buy the masking tape from Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart or Target. They usually carry them. It's not hard to find. Again, uh, when I start to design the vase, I want to make sure that I can find materials that are readily available. You know, I want to be able to just go to uh, you know, any store and uh, pick up the supplies that I need. I don't, you know, sometimes when you build something or design something, you have to consider those uh, variables. You know, sometimes people design things and, uh, you know, they have materials that are hard to find and so that doesn't really uh, help you. Okay, I can see that the shape of the vase is a little slightly twisted. And so, I can see that slightly twisted. So. Again, that's going to happen, but uh, as long as it's not too twisted, you'll be okay. No matter how hard you try, it's going to be a little bit warped. Okay, so now this is gone. Unfortunately, this roll is going to be very sticky, so I'm hoping, see how hard it is to pull? So now I'm going to be stuck going at a very slow pace. So now we're just going to continue where we left off. So now I'm going to have to... Okay, so now it's gonna be harder. Okay, so now I'm gonna slow down a little bit here. I want to be. So now this is getting warped as I'm as I'm pulling the tape. But you get the idea. So now you're just, you're just gonna continue all the way until the very bottom. And when you get to the bottom, you're all done. See, this is what happens when you have old tape. So anyway, I'm just going to stop it here and you get the idea. So the idea is that you want to have, you want to create this 3D structure made out of paper so it can easily be burnt. And this, you know, the tape is not paper, but the tape burns easily as well. And so once you put on the Joss paper on the outside, that will burn. This actually burns really easy. Um, at first I thought that, you know, it's going to be hard to burn because when you have a lot of paper, a lot of uh, paper inside of the vase, it's going to be hard to burn. But it, it's easy to burn and so you don't have to worry about it. And so again, we're almost there. The idea is to create this shape so we can start uh, putting on the Joss paper and then we're going to cover the, the skin, we're going to cover everything. And so when that's all done, you can have a really nice face. And so uh, that concludes this uh, part two of our vase video. So hopefully uh, you find this helpful and hopefully um, this, you can understand how to put everything together. And so we're going to stop it here and we will continue with part three uh, uh, when we get all the paper folded. And we'll show you how to fold all the papers as well. All right? thanks for watching. and. Uh, uh, you can join us again in part three.